Ahoy, Captain! Welcome back to Quincy's Tavern. Are you here for another quest? I have just the thing for you and your crew. I've recently come into possession of this Ashen Key, and would very much like the chest that it opens. The only information that I have is that it's located on this island, somewhere in the Sea of Thieves. If your crew could go get it, bring it back in one piece, I would be forever grateful, and make it well worth your while, including spot of the gold hoarders, if you would like. This should be enough to cover the starting expenses, and of course there was more if you get back. Be safe out there. I think we should have told him about the monsters. Nah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Welcome to Quincy's Tavern, my friend. My name is Quincy. What can I get you? Here is my hot cocoa sweet roll with marshmallow and cream cheese frosting. Enjoy. Miss Rosewyn, one hot chocolate. Right away. And we have your star beans. We have your portion of charm and two soul gems. One ice cold Nuka Cola. Enjoy. Of course, it's enchanted. It's glowing. Deal. I'll take them all. You even have a guild that thinks it's a cult. <laughs> it's quite charming. The Wall family. Imagine with me that this pouch has 86,400 pieces of gold. <laughs> let's just imagine. And let's say you're out on your adventures and get robbed by some bandits who make off with 10 pieces of gold. What would you do? Would you go after and chase those bandits for those 10 pieces of gold and risk losing the other 86,390 pieces? <laughs> I dare say you would not. I feel like if you were sensible, you would... Just dust yourself off and keep on moving. Likewise, we are given 86,400 pieces of time a day. Do not let someone's 10 seconds of hate and negativity ruin and steal from the remaining 86,390 moments you have left. They're already wasting their time trying to steal from yours. You're worth more than that. Time is precious. Spend it wisely. Alrighty, adventurer. We all prepared? Good. The mission is simple. It's a rescue. Get in, get out. There are four adventurers and survivors who have been reported lost in the fog over there. Apparently, there are two villains to be aware of. A heartless hunting killer that seems to be in the service of this thing. This thing called the Entity. And it lives and exists in the fog. So I have acquired a few items that apparently and unfortunately are the only things that prevent from being lost in the fog. Toolbox full of sundry items, flashlight to fresh batteries, a med kit, that has a few good bandages still left, and just between you and me, a couple of keys. These are enchanted keys, and we'll open anything closed once, just in case we need a quick way out. So, into the fog. <laughs> Master Baggins! Welcome back to Quincy's Tavern. It's good to see you. How was that adventure of yours? Life-changing, I presume. <laughs> well, I'll let you tell me all about it later, but first, I must celebrate. I was half expecting your return anytime soon, so I took the liberties in preparing a few of your favorites. Some fresh fried fish, steamed corn and broccoli, mashed potatoes, some sweet cornbread, and a bowl of fluff and poco. And just for you, because this is a special occasion. The house is chocolate milk. It's not every day we get an adventurer to come home like you. And just before I forget, kept it safe and sound for you. Waiting for your return, just as you asked. Enjoy. Nice ring. Hello there, traveler. 
I was just about to head out to the night market when a mutual friend of ours stopped me and said that you were going through some stuff. He wanted me to talk to you. Now, you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to, but, um, might I suggest this? All the best stories have moments like this, when the adventure all of a sudden seems hopeless. But all the best tales have endings that inspire and become legends thereafter for others to admire. So rest yourself and regain your power and conquer those demons who whisper you coward. Your story is not done. There's more to unfold because I see in you a legend yet told. I know it's not easy right now, but I believe in you. You want to go to the night market with me? It'll be fun. Come on. Welcome back to Quincy's Traveler. It's good to see you again. That adventure all said and done. Well done. You should celebrate. And you should take this. This is the key to my observatory. It has a most wonderful view of the stars and a most comfortable bed. I want you to take this and rest for as long as you need to, because I've heard you're the type of adventurer that often refuses to allow themselves a proper respite. And to that I say this, your adventure never gets better unless you do, and you should give yourself some of that love you so freely give to others. It's not considered weakness to rest your mind and body. You and the sun and moon take turns to shine. Now go. I hear the stars are particularly bright tonight. I wouldn't want you to miss it. Good morning, traveler. You were up early. How about some breakfast? What can I get you? Right away? Hello again, Lady Whistledown. Are you here for tea? Right away. Your latest society paper. I must say I was quite intrigued, really. I'm always inspired by individuals who rise above their perceived position and become things far greater than those around dare ever attempt. But as always, uh, something for you that I presume you will know exactly what to make of. 